Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I am Vineet and in today's video, we'll check out a very popular and one of my favorite terminal emulator called Tilda. Now, a terminal emulator in Linux is a program which provides an interface or a window to run shell. And shell is a program that interacts with your computer processes or executes the command that you type in. Born again shell is the default shell but depending upon the distribution that you're using you may have gnome terminal, console, xterm or other terminal emulators installed by default on your system. But you also have choice to install a variety of other terminal emulators like terminator, geek, rxvt unicode, termite, Yakuke and many many others. Now Tilda is one such terminal emulator that gives you a lot of option for customization of the terminal. Now depending upon the distribution that you are using you can install Tilda by typing one of these commands. Now when you first open Tilda this is the screen that you get which I agree is not the prettiest uh, but we'll customize it and make it more beautiful. Now to customize Tilda right click on the terminal screen and choose preferences. Now here you have all the options for customization in their respective categories as tabs. Now the first tab is general where you have the option to show notebook border, do not show in taskbar, start in full screen, always on top. Now all these options are pretty self explanatory and you can check them out yourself uh, but here in this video we'll check out few of them and let me show you how I like to customize my Tilda screen. Now you have the option for cursor shape as blank, eye beam or underline and at the bottom you have the option to hide Tilda when loses focus or hide uh, Tilda when mouse leaves it. I keep both of them unchecked. Next is title and command. You also have the option to run a custom command instead of shell. Next is the appearance screen and this is where majority of customization takes place regarding looks. Um, let's give the height as 50 which is roughly about half of the screen and give the width as 80 centered horizontally and let's give the Y position as 50. Now you have the option to enable transparency. Let's give the value 30 here and you also have the option to animate it pull down if you want the tilde screen to appear from top, right, bottom or left. Alright next is the color tab where you can change the color of terminal which is generally available with most other Linux terminals as well. But once you change the color the transparency goes back to zero. Disabling and re-enabling transparency checkbox makes the terminal transparent again. And at last is the key bindings or keyboard shortcut tab which gives you list of all shortcuts available. You can change these shortcuts also according to your personal choice. Tilda is a great terminal which makes copy paste commands from a web page a lot easier. You can also run multiple terminal emulator each for different tasks which is very useful if you have a large screen. Also the option to temporarily hide terminal and call it back when you need it is also pretty useful. Alright so that was all. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video kindly press the like button. If you have any comment suggestion or feedback please type that in in the comment box and if you want to see more such videos kindly subscribe to my channel xps tech thank you again for watching and i'll see you next time